Okay, so now we're going to look at the amp section of the synthesizer over here. The amp section controls the overall output of um, the synthesized tone. So uh, the main sort of controls really that you'll find uh, in an amp are, uh, is an amp envelope, which is an ADSR. So you get an attack control, decay, sustain, and release. Uh, now, uh, most uh, a lot of synthesizers as well will have an overall volume, so you can set uh, the amount of volume going out through the amp as well. Possibly you might have one where you can choose the envelope amount of it, but we haven't got it on this particular synth. So I'm just going to keep it simple and talk about what the ADSR does. Um, so we use the ADSR, so that's attack, decay, sustain and release, to control the overall... Um, shape of the sound and the overall sound of it. So for instance, at the moment, uh, my attack is down, my decay is down, sustain is all the way up and release is off. And this is what it sounds like. Now, if I have this in this position, that note will carry on forever as long as I'm holding the, uh, the key down and obviously stop as soon as I take it off. So, to explain what the controls do, um, the sustain level, which is the one that I've got up there, is, basic, is, is, as the name suggests, how long the sound will sustain for. So, all the way up on here, it will sustain at maximum level, so the same volume level that it begins with, it will just keep sustaining at that level and continue forever, essentially. Um, the attack component is how long the, time, uh, the sound takes to fade in, um, so you can illustrate that by at the moment with zero attack the sound starts straight away as soon as I press the key if I put the attack all the way up you can tell that the sound takes a long time to fade in uh, likewise in the middle shorter fade in times the release control, which is on the other side, is uh, similarly how long the sound takes to fade away once I let go of the key. So, with no release, it just fades away straight away. However, if I put it all the way up, let go of the key, the sound continues, but it slowly dies away. Likewise, if I have a shorter release time. So just using those two controls, this is how we can make a, uh, a fake string sound, let's say, or a pad sound quite easily. So for instance, if I play a chord, doesn't have any, um, uh, sorry, doesn't uh, sustain when I take my fingers off. So if I add a bit of release, if I add uh, some attack to it as well, we can make a basic pad sound using those. The two middle controls, the decay and the sustain time, go hand in hand. So I'm just going to take the, to explain this, um, the best way is to think about a, a, an acoustic piano. So on a acoustic piano, um, it has no natural sustain. So basically, um, as I showed on this one, with the sustain all the way up, the sound continues forever. If I take the sustain down and I put the decay all the way up, um, it behaves more like an acoustic piano. Uh, on an acoustic piano, when you hold down the key, because you'll have a string that's vibrating, the sound will naturally decay to zero. So if I hold down a note with maximum decay on... Even though I'm holding the key down, the sound naturally fades away to nothing. So it's almost gone now to zero. So, like an acoustic piano, when you hold down a, a key on a piano, uh, the sound will naturally decay to nothing because it just runs out of energy. So, this is sort of copying that. So, um, if I bring the decay down on here, it will fade away much quicker. Um, now, what the sustain does is, as you can probably see from this graph here on the top, which shows the ADSR, the sustain level shows you um, what what level the sound will eventually decay to. So for instance, if it starts at the top on here, it'll start and we have to sustain at zero, then the uh, sound will decay to zero. So it'll start at maximum volume and then decay to zero. 
which was as we showed before. Um, if I bring the decay down a little bit so it, it uh, fades away a little bit quicker. So again, that fades to zero a bit quicker because we have the sustain level set at zero. However, if I bring the sustain up a little bit, now you'll, what you'll hear is much like this graph on the top here, the, um, uh, the sound will start decaying for a little bit, but then it will reach a sustained point where and it will continue at that level. So as an example. I'm just going to make that a little bit more extreme so you can hear it. So. So what you can hear there is that the sound started at a louder volume, but then it decayed away to a much quieter volume. Uh, and it's still continuing at that now, if you can hear the sound is still going. And it'll keep going at this level until I uh, choose to let go of it. So that's quite handy in a way because you can, uh, you can have sounds that decay sort of quite, uh, quite quickly to a, to a lower sustained level. And if you make the um, if you make the differences quite sort of tight between them, you can almost accent the beginning of the sound. So that's the basic principle behind an attack decay sustain release.